Our first story today takes us to Tunica, Mississippi, where flavor is one business's top priority. Leighton, in the farm-raised catfish business, taste is everything. Processors begin taste testing fish months before they're harvested. The whole industry gets a black eye when off-flavor catfish are sold to the public regardless of where they're grown. One Northwest Mississippi catfish farmer and processor is so concerned about taste, it's the company's sole focus. Certified on flavor is the company slogan of Pride of the Pond of Tunica. Owner Bill Battle says that the focus has on flavor has kept it in business at a time when others have gone out. That's what's going to determine whether we stay in business or not is, is our quality and, and our service and, and uh, that's what we want to compete on. On flavor catfish that's treated properly is by far better than any fish I've ever eaten. Flavor and taste are practically obsessions for owner Bill Battle and Pride of the Pond, a Tunica, Mississippi catfish processor. Pride of the Pond is the processing and sales division of Battle Farms. Battle's father and mother, Paul and Norma, began catfish farming in 1969. We started raising fish and, and uh, uh, the live haulers would, would take fish to Pay Lakes up north. And we were about 100 miles closer than any other fish that they could get in, in Mississippi. So, uh, so we had a little edge on the market and, and that, that market grew. Looking for an edge turned out to be a way of business for the battles. There was no live haul market during the winter, so in 1982, Bill's father decided to add value to his fish by building a processing plant with the Owen family and Bill Gidden. Around 2008, Battle Farms bought out their partners and became the sole owner. At this time, Battle renovated the Pride of the Pond plant. Battle and his staff believe their modernization has improved further the flavor and quality of their catfish. The catfish are transported in chilled water and processed in a plant kept at 43 degrees. In an hour after harvest, the catfish are either fresh packed on ice or frozen, ready for the customer. Our flavor profile is, is one of the best uh, in the industry. It's uh, the way we process our, our product. Uh, it's cold from swimming fish. Uh, it's chilled to, to when it's frozen or ice packed. Uh, you know, when you can do that within an hour, uh, your product is fresh. You have a longer shelf life on the fresh and the frozen. The profit margins are slim in catfish processing, so efficiency is vital. Even though it processes 55,000 pounds of catfish per day, Battle says prior to the pond is probably the smallest modern plant in the industry. Computer automated scales weigh the product at several points in the process, as well as sort the catfish fillets according to weight. Battle admits much of his plant's redesign came from ideas he saw in the poultry processing industry. The chicken people uh, seem to be a little more advanced than the catfish people as far as product flow and, and uh, how to not double handle material. And, and so we took their advice and went through several plans before we decided on a final plan and, and we're real happy with what we got. There's an electronic scoreboard on the wall that ranks the employees trimming the catfish fillets. It's updated constantly by the computer weighing system. Trimmers who perform well get a bonus. That's another thing that came from the chicken industry. Uh, they have to do a lot of trimming of chickens and, and they said that if you put a little bit of competitive edge between your trimmers, it, it kind of breaks the boredom of repetitive work and uh, gives them an incentive to, to do more. Everybody wants to be the number one trimmer. The effort to deliver on flavored catfish extends to the Battle Farms catfish operation. 98% of Pride of the Ponds catfish comes from Battle's own 2,700 acres of ponds, allowing him once again more control over fish quality. All flavored catfish may taste or smell musty or muddy. It is usually caused by certain types of blue green algae. The fish are safe to eat, just undesirable. If it hadn't been testing good or, a, or a, a slightly off, we'll make sure that once it hits that good level that it's maintained for several weeks before we do bring it in. Not only that, they can, they can hold fish that they know are, are own flavor for during periods of the year when a lot of the fish, maybe as high as 80% of the fish that are out there, are off flavor. 
so they can kind of sock away a few fish there they know are good quality so when those t when things get lean out there they've got a good solid product they can go and pull from their own farm. We're going to be 100% on flavor 100% of the time. Mississippi has always had more than half of all the farm-raised catfish water acres in the United States, but acres peaked in Mississippi 12 years ago at almost 113,000. In early 2013, it had dropped by more than half to just under 49,000 acres. Most of this decline has occurred since the Great Recession started in late 2007. Several factors have combined to hammer U.S. catfish producers. U.S. catfish producers overproduced and pond acres plummeted. This caused a shortage in record high pond bank prices in 2011. These were met with record high feed prices due to high grain and soybean prices. Some areas saw feed increase to $562 per ton in 2012. Back when feed was uh, even at $200 a ton, even back then it was estimated that feed was as much as probably 60% of our annual operating cost. Now with the cost of feeds, you know, that number is probably up as high as 80 to 90% of our operating, annual operating cost. The increase in pond bank prices has prompted overseas producers of catfish-like species to flood the U.S. market. Imports of catfish account for 78% of all catfish fillets sold in the United States. Imports are also the cheapest catfish, pulling down the price of U.S. grown stock. And, and the price of live fish followed that shortage and went up 50% during that time period. Well, at the same time, the Vietnamese and the other imported products that come over here at considerably less selling price, we just found the perfect storm for them to come into and get into a market that was short on fish in supply and, and at record price levels. The U.S. catfish industry points out foreign-produced catfish are often grown using drugs and chemicals that are banned in the United States. The catfish industry says in 2012, 45 shipments of foreign catfish were not allowed entry into the U.S. Unfortunately, only a small percentage of foreign-grown seafood is inspected each year. We don't feel like the imported, any of the imported fish meets our quality standard. Uh, we feel like we've got a far superior product to, to, to any foreign product that, that wants to compare with us, and we'll compare any day, any time. In spite of the situation facing the U.S. catfish industry, battle fields prior to the pond's focus on flavor, efficiency, and customer service will help it meet the challenges of the future. We do everything that we can do to deliver the best product that we possibly can to the cook. And once it gets to the cook's hand, it's not much I can do. <laughs> and you can watch his story on Pride of the Pond again on our Farm Week uh, webpage, Facebook page, or YouTube. Website address is farmweek.msucares.com. We'll also have the links and contact information so you can get in touch with Pride of the Pond. It has a web page and a Facebook page. I think everyone does now. Uh, private individuals can buy direct from the plant if they wish. Once again, that's farmweek.msucares.com and their prideofthepond.com as well. Leighton, I, in an update on that story, I talked with Billy Mohead, uh, and he said that right now the retail segment, which is grocery stores, is really tough for the processors right now that the retail side of the market is going towards the imported fish. Uh, regardless, I guess, of what the quality might be, they are going towards it because of the price. And, they, and of course, their, their fish, they're trying to meet that price. Of course, they're raised under a lot stricter standards. So uh, he said it's still rough in the business right now. Uh, he said there are some catfish farmers having to cut back on their inventory. Well, that means a little less fish, perhaps, on flavor that you're competing for as well. So, you know, being kind of whipsaw in there, you know, between lower supplies right. and yet can't bump that price up to be able to buy the fish that are, you know, so. Uh, but he says, hey, we're going to hang in there, you know, and still going to produce the on-flavor fish.